Hey guys, uh, Murli from BI TechWorks. Uh, today uh, uh, we are going to discuss about a uh, basic uh, topic or a functionality uh, that is in everybody's minds who are using Power BI. Uh, the topic is can I uh, filter a visual using a custom list of values? Um, is it even possible? Uh, because Power BI has uh, advanced filter where I can enter only two values or I can use a slicer I can select say 100 values but I have to select one by one or in the, in the filter section the same way I have to select one by one uh, so uh, how, how to uh, filter using a custom list of values uh, so that that is what we are going to uh, try and uh, see if there is a solution to this uh, though uh, this solution is not a uh, uh, very robust solution, but uh, certainly it can uh, help filter uh, uh, filter values in the hundreds at least. Um, so for this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add a table and I'm going to uh, select the fiscal week uh, to it. Uh, so there are basically there are total of uh, 1463 values uh, we are going to filter some of uh, it uh, to to show that uh, to show the functionality so uh, for this uh, I have created a, a list of values uh, like to be exact 77 values so I am using I am going to use these set of values to filter the uh, table here uh, so uh, for this first I, I, let, let's prepare the uh, data set here so I am just going to uh, write a, basically I am going to write a custom function uh, that is going to uh, be used as a filter so for that I just need a comma so I will just add the comma to this uh, I will remove the last one uh, I'll copy it and I'm moving a notepad uh, I want to remove the space here so I will replace this with the space uh, okay now I have a proper set of values I'll copy this um, here I'm going to create a new function uh, or a new column uh, with, with, with the calculation uh, I'll show in a minute so uh, let's call it uh, fiscal week filter and here I'm going to write if uh, the fiscal week in the list of values then close then I want to display the fiscal week else I'll just leave it blank so it just shows me a blank value so I have created a new calculated column called fiscal week filter and I uh, wrote this function uh, which is going to give me the value of the week if it falls in one of the 77 values else it is blank so now I am going to add a, a slicer to this report and add this uh, newly created function to it so I am going to change this to a list now if you see uh, the list of 77 values are present uh, in this uh, slicer now I am going to go and then add uh, the select all option right? so now I have the select all option now I will select all and remove the blank so when I apply it I get the 77 values uh, in this table to verify this uh, I am going to uh, just do a count of the uh, fiscal week uh, 
uh, I'm going to do a count testing because this table has uh, uh, as a granularity at the day level so the week is going to repeat so I'll do a count testing uh, and you see we have the 77 value so basically uh, the 77 values that we have filtered uh, is what we have uh, so yep that's it folks so this is this is a simple but yet uh, it's an effective way to do uh, multi value filtering by list of values uh, at least uh, in the range of hundreds uh, if not more uh, I have not tested it um, with uh, huge set of values but at least for basic uh, few hundreds uh, uh, values uh, you can use this solution uh, so uh, yeah thanks for watching uh, hope you learned a small trick today uh, for more videos uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, if you have any comments or questions uh, post it down below thank you